we're back with our second lesson. Today's lesson is on even and odd numbers. You learned about those a few years ago, maybe with even Steven and odd Todd, but now we're going to apply it to sequences. So we have some more vocab words. Whole numbers are the counting numbers and the number zero. So remember counting numbers were one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to whatever. Now we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are all whole numbers. Counting by twos, we say the numbers two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. What are those? Are those even or odd? Good, they're even numbers. Even numbers end in a zero, two, four, six, or an eight, and they all have a partner. All right, so let's check that out. Four index cards here, and I want to know whether it's even or it's odd. Well, I can see if they have a pair. So here's one. And now this one has a pair. And here's two. And now his, there's his pair. And I have none left over. They all have a pair, therefore four is an even number. And what happens if instead I only had three index cards? If I have those two, they'll have a pair. And then I have my third one here and I don't have any pair to give it. Well, that tells me that this number is odd and that the last digit of it would either be a one, a three, a five, a seven, or a nine. All right, take out those notebooks. Time to write some vocabulary down. Your first vocab word is whole numbers. Zero, one, two, three, all the way up to infinity. Even numbers end in a zero, two, four, six, or eight. And they all have a partner. And odd numbers are all the numbers that are not even. They end in a one, three, five, seven, or nine, and they don't all have a partner. One number would be left out. So the last thing that this lesson is about, half of an even number is a whole number. So whenever you divide an even number in half, like eight is even, and if I divide it in half, it would be four, or 12 is even, if I divide it in half, it's six, or 20 ends in a zero, so it's even, and I divide that in half, it would be 10. Whenever I divide them in half, it's a whole number. But odd numbers, if we divide them into equal amounts, then one of them would have to get cut in half because it's not going to be equal. So let's go back to our index cards. Okay, let's say that I have my four cards and I divided these in half into equal. I want to divide them into two equal parts. Then I could do these cards over here and these cards over here. And each group would have two. One, two, one, two. But if I had five cards total and I wanted to divide them in half, well, I could do two cards over here and two cards over here. But I would have this one card left. And if I wanted my groups even, then I would have to cut it in half and so now I would have two and a half and two and a half so five divided by two is two and a half it has a half on it so let's look at a chart that kind of shows us that right here So this chart shows all the counting numbers on the top line, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it shows if we were to cut that number in half. So half of one is one half, half of two is one, half of three is one and a half, and you notice a pattern. Every other one has a half. That's because every other one is an odd number. So all the even numbers divide evenly in half with a whole number as the answer. But anytime you have an odd number and you divide it in half, it will end with a fraction. So what would it be if I divided 11 in half? Good, five and a half. What about 12 and a half? Yep, six. All right, you got it. Get to work.